everybody welcome back to the channel so in here sheepyards time uh we've got shearing in a couple of days shearing all the lambs there's 750 of them to, to go oh we've got horses and bulls in the sheepyards too well that's handy <laughs> um and just needed to do a bit of maintenance so got my brother here he's done some topping for me this morning so we're just going to get in and uh do some replace some posts and rails and stuff in here so the yards will be fairly well secure um old posts been in here i don't know ever since the yards were built maybe in the 50s so fairly long time and uh it just started to loosen up a bit too much and fall over so we'll whip this out dig some more holes and uh chuck some rails up So I've got this hole deep enough and I'm just going to use this board that we pulled off as a guide board so we'll put it where it needs to go on there and shift that put it over here that's where the post's got to butt up to like so we'll use our Use this here to get straight up and down. Pretty good just there. Hey fella, you're not meant to be in here. So we'll fill in around the bottom and then I can give it a couple of smacks with a maul if it needs to come down just slightly before we really ram it in. And the bulls are in here because we've got a bunch of heifers and bits and pieces in the paddock over there. Cheeky buggers. Got the old post in uh, the bottom of this one in the hole. So we're just going to dig beside it as much as we can. We'll throw some water down there, chuck a pointed post in there, and set to it with the maul. And uh, yeah, we'll get it down hard and deep enough. So we've got 
everything done apart from one rail down here got another piece patched up over here so all pretty good to get the lambs in the shed um, one other thing I need to do is this gate here cut the hinges off put them at the end and then maybe I don't know it gets a bit close because when you load stock into here to go up the race this you've always got to take this gate off its hinges because it only goes back that far right pain in the ass, but yeah we're uh, making progress for today but it's hot and windy and we're going to call it a day so we'll see you tomorrow with some more yard prep and uh, you've got some rams to crutch and some lambs to crutch and yeah ready for shearing tomorrow uh tomorrow thursday thursday right see you tomorrow g'day everybody good morning again um so did some more work in the yards this morning just tidied up a few more of those jobs since it was cool but now up here uh at the tank for the water scheme so we just got uh, got this level indicator the other day it's a job one because uh the one i wanted has these brackets on it more so than than the Hanson ones or the other ones so very windy place up here um, so I wanted something with a bit more structure to it wasn't made out of plastic so stainless steel if that uh, blows away we will have to come up with another plan um, beautiful day up here yeah cracking view again got the cows down here milling around the trough um, but yeah I think we've got an issue because this tank's running down to there we've got a fair bit of water running in and it's just running straight back out again so we'll have a, a ball cock that's been pushed or something so we'll check that out on the way home uh, the wind comes through there we want it braced what way we want it braced had looked at all the wireless tank indicators and bits and pieces but I mean we're what are we 1.4k in a straight line between here and home with some trees in the way so shit <laughs> just drop the washer in there um we figured we'd start with this and if this doesn't work then we can go to that but yeah so that's how long our level indicator is what two meters maybe something like that so pop it in here oh yep it'll be about where we um have the secondary the reserve kind of tap so it'll give us a good indication of how low it is Screw the float on the bottom. And there we go. That's tight. Right, now let's go find our leak. G'day, ready, ready for shearing tomorrow? Well, not, not quite ready. Uh, getting ready for shearing tomorrow. So, um, about. 2.30, 3 o'clock, those shearers will be here and we'll start off some ram lambs. But I just wanted to wash the board, so I'll flick you around. Got uh, garden hose going on here, Millie's scrubbing away. We're gonna just uh, just wash the board down to about here. And I'm not gonna get too close to this wall that we've already got here, so it doesn't need to get wet. So, um, as you can see, pretty grubby. I'll go slide through here and very slippery. So it's all the lanolin. Um, 
and the dust and stuff that comes off the sheep. So we'll scrub all this down, let it dry overnight, and um, <laughs> the kids can play in here. So there we go, all nice and clean. 20 minutes of frantic scrubbing. Um, still very, very slippery, but um, whoo. But yeah, it'll dry out and uh, with the doors open, bit of wind blowing through here, it'll be nice and dry. Might be a bit bright to see, but drying nicely. Yeah, nice and clean. We'll um, shut some of these doors up so the wind doesn't blow the roof off again. <laughs> and um, that'll be it for today. I'll bring some ram lambs in first thing in the morning. About 220 of them. So they'll do them first. Um, just tomorrow afternoon and then ewe lambs all Friday and we should be all done with the shearing lambs as well which will be pretty good and then we'll look at selling some um, ones that aren't going to be our replacements we'll sell them probably end of March um, yeah around about that time so we'll leave this here we'll see you tomorrow so I thought I was done for the day but heard some uh, well rain clouds coming over back up here and heard a bit of thunder so I thought shit better uh, chuck some sheep in the shed ready for tomorrow even if it is tomorrow afternoon so we've got um, these ram lambs here about 200 that we're just going to bring in and uh, whether I put them in the shed I probably won't put them in the shed now but it's about 8 30 might leave them a couple of hours just see what the weather does um, it's not till one o'clock that the shears are coming but just don't want them to get wet, so we'll uh, chuck these in the yards and make sure they're pretty close if they need to go in the shed. Hello! We've just got the heating dogs out here because the Hunaways have been fed, or well, the heating dogs have been fed as well. Um, but yeah, don't really like running Hunterways after they've been fed because that increases the risk of twisted bowel, which if you've yeah, know anything about twisted bowel it gives me goosebumps it's um pretty horrible thing so it's where the bowel of the hunaway twists up and then they they pass away pretty easy with that unless you catch it in time so it's just a risk and a risk i'm not willing to take Blue. but heading dogs don't seem to get it so that's why these two buggers are out here blue and you got millie helping on the side side Blue. 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 Right, we'll leave you buggers here. They can empty out for a little bit. Just in the dirt yards here. And yeah, see what the weather does in the next uh, hour or so. Good afternoon. We're um, back here in the sheep yards. Uh, pretty well finished all the maintenance. Uh, this morning I've just been crutching ram land, so the shearers are here now. <laughs> They are shearing ram lambs, so we've just got to run all these ewe lambs through and I just want to draft out all the black faces, so a few black faces, terminals, um, they've got a slightly different wall, so we'll keep them separate and then um, we will, yeah, chuck some ewe lambs up there in the shed ready for them to go. I won't get them all done today, but they will um, get a few done. So, hello Buttercup, George's pet lamb, Buttercup. You're going to be a breeding you, aren't you? Hmm? They're lovely and friendly. 
Right, Millie, let's not draft these up. So if we just shut this gate here, Millie, and then you just run up and down the side, and I'll just draft them out. So we're just drafting them through the race. Uh, yeah. Terminals, black faces out that side. Eternal, you land this straight ahead. Millie's doing a good job helping me out here. We're Jenna's away teaching. So we finished our drafting. There's only, what, 25 something in here of them. Majority, yeah, white face. Um, Eternal lamb and buttercup. <laughs> All right, so we'll throw these ones in the shed. And then, uh, and then we can get on to, yeah, those other maternals. So we've got these ones uh, through the next pen, and we're just going to load a few up um, into the shed, just to keep them going for today. And then tonight, we will load the rest up. So we might leave that video there for today, and um, we'll come back with you tomorrow. Or yeah start this again and load these up tonight and uh show you some shearing action tomorrow and then drench these lambs get them on some good tucker and then they'll be all tickety boo uh before i go away for the god zone for two weeks so we'll leave that there thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye